Hey Aries, I'm here to do your reading. This will be a what they don't want you to know reading, Aries. Let me cleanse my space with some Palo Santo. Mm, let's see what they don't want you to know, Aries. What they don't want Aries to know. They could be refusing an offer somewhere. I see them turning down an offer. That could be something that they don't want you to know, Aries. <clears throat> what they don't want Aries to know. So they feel like they're stuck. They could communicate this to you. They're very emotional about this. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Hermit. So I see you dealing with a, a Virgo, Aries. Or you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. Whoever this person is, I see them actually being highly intuitive. With this Queen of Cups and the Hermit card. So something they don't want you to know is that they're concealing their emotions, that they're single or that they're going... They, uh, they're concealing their emotions that they're single or that they want to be single. Here, I see them actually looking at their options. They just don't want like a, a heavy load to carry. I see them actually communicating this with you. That something is just unjust here dealing with a past person. So they could communicate to you that something was unjust in a relationship with the past person. Something was just too much for them to handle, too much for them to carry. So I see them actually lifting or releasing that burden. That heavy load. I see them releasing that load here to be single. To go within. To do the work that they need to do within. That is something that they don't want you to know. But they may communicate this to you. Or they may rush into you and just communicate that something was unjust. Dealing with the past person. Yeah, there's no regrets here with this person. This is something that they don't want you to know. I don't see them actually plotting or scheming. I just like see no regrets surrounding this situation with this past person. They don't regret not moving forward with this person. This is something that they wanted to do. Yeah, they got what they wanted. I'm getting they moved recklessly to get what they wanted. So they did this intentionally. This was something intentional, Aries. I see them actually getting their wish fulfillment here. This is a very, I'm hearing, devious person. Hmm. So they could be trying to manifest you or like getting in your pants or something like that. Like they're not going to compete. I don't see them really competing for it or putting in the work. They're not going to do that. But I do see them trying to manifest it in some way. This is something that they don't want you to know, Aries. They're trying to manifest some type of sexual encounter with you. I'm getting it's making them upset. Yeah, this could be, um, you could be unaware of this, Aries. This could be a secret to you. Could be dealing with the uh, Scorpio as well. I see like a need for someone to be more calm here, more nurturing here. Hmm, the secret could be, this is something that they don't want you to know, that they like the way you nurture them. They like the way you take care of them. They're attracted to your nurturing side. This is something that they don't want you to know, Aries. Yeah, they want a relationship with that. Like, they want to be in partnership with that. Two of Cups is, like, all about exchanging liquids, exchanging fluids. So, I see, like, some sex here, possibly. <laughs> Someone's getting some bad karma, I'm getting, you know. They're getting some bad karma with moving forward with something. Could be dealing with the cancer. 
or they're going to get some, some type of bad karma in cancer season because they're juggling. I'm getting it's because they're juggling and because they turned down an offer. They could have turned down the offer in the past. So this is like some type of karma for this person. So it's like what goes around comes around like you did this to me. So now it's happening to you. Something like that going on here. The death card. So I see this person going through some type of dark night of the soul, some type of transformation, but I'm getting the cycle is not over yet. Like this cycle is not yet complete. They could be dealing with a Scorpio. I see someone not wanting to be left out in the cold. This is something that they don't want you to know is that they do not want to be left out in the cold. They could see you as someone who's really, really beautiful, really abundant. They have what they want, like their life is just flowing. Very financially secure as well with this King of Pentacles. But I'm getting you know this. This is something that you know. This secret has already been exposed. And I'm getting you chose a direction here. <clears throat> something else they don't want you to know is that them moving forward and them having to find a new direction is causing them some type of anxiety. Here, with this high priestess card, I'm getting like it's a secret, but that secret, I'm getting they want it to be a secret, but the secret is exposed already. People already know about this. People know that this person suffers from like a lot of anxiety, possibly mental issues. I'm getting that is not a secret. That is known. <clears throat> Something else they don't want you to know is that their money is running out or their bank account. Something else they don't want you to know is that their money is running out or their patience is running out. They're running out of patience or money here. This is something that they don't want you to know. I see like their bank accounts being emptied. And they're highly upset about this. With this king of wands, I see them not able to obtain what they want. They don't have any passion for anything. So I see them being like dispassionate. Because they don't have any money or something like that is going on here with this person. This is something that they don't want you to know. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I see like a relationship. Like I see an ending. I see an ending to a relationship. And then I see someone actually just like throwing out their emotions. Like trying to hurry up and come back around and present their emotions. Their true emotions how they know things were unbalanced, how they just don't want things to end. But I see you like sitting back and looking at this person like, hmm, you're checking in with your intellect and your wisdom, your uh, emotions here with this person. You know that this person is very toxic. When you check in with this person, you can see the toxicity around this person. Something they don't want you to know is that they're going to pour their emotions out to you. They're going to tell you that they know things were unbalanced and they just don't want things to end. The same old, same old I'm getting, basically. This is something that they don't want you to know, Aries. The Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. So I see like... I see an offer being made, but I don't see them actually going through with this offer because there are a lot of options here. And I see someone actually coming out of contract. Could be with the um, Aquarius here. Someone is losing partnership or they're losing a contract here and they're signing a new one. They're moving forward to a new one. This one is very much... Um, very much more uh, powerful or more... Uh, I would say this one is more reliable or more of a wish fulfillment for this person. But I'm getting they genuinely don't want to do this, whatever this is. This is not something that they genuinely want to do. They're just doing this because they're unhappy with the current situation. Yeah, I see some heartbreak. They're disappointed. This is something that they don't want you to know, Aries. I see them being disappointed, so they're not going to take that leap of faith. They know that you're ready for them. They could be, like, worried about if they should come to you and tell you these things and get this off of their chest. But they may, like, they may not take the leap of faith with the full reversed. 
they don't want to seem foolish. They don't want to come off foolish to you because they know you're ready for them with this Queen of Swords. They know you're ready to cut. Let's get an archetype card to see what type of person you're dealing with, Aries. <clears throat> What type of person is Aries dealing with here? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What type of person are they dealing with? <laughs> it was too many. I'm gonna do it again. Seeker. So you're dealing with someone who's trying to find something. They could move the way they move. Like they could, because I see this person moving a lot. Very flighty person, very active person. So I see like whatever way they move, I'm getting there trying to find something. This is why they move the way they move. They're trying to find something. They're trying to seek something. It says the thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. The shadow side says inability to commit to a path once found. So this, this person could carry like a lot of anxiety or worry or some type of um, stress, like mental, some type of mental thing here where they feel like they like can't complete anything. Once they're on one path, like they move to another one because they feel like they can't complete it or finish it. Or they're just thirsty for wisdom. So like they move this way, like they move from person to person. Because they're trying to see how everyone is. But I'm getting that's not like a way to be. That really causes you to be unhappy with this sun card reversed. That's what I'm getting for you, Aries. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where you guys can book a personal reading. Alright, thank you, Aries, for watching.